Nine News at 9 and we're streaming on CBS in Los Angeles. I'm Serene Branson in tonight for Pat Harvey and I'm Juan Fernandez. More complications for embattled LA City Councilman Mark Ridley Thomas following his indictment on federal bribery and fraud charges. Ridley Thomas could soon be suspended and lose his salary from the city of LA. KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Waite joins us now with all the details. Tom. Yeah, tomorrow is expected to be a pretty tough day for Ridley Thomas. He is going to be arraigned at 1 p.m. in federal court and then the city council is expected to vote to suspend him. LA City Hall being rocked by another corruption scandal. This time, Councilman Mark Ridley Thomas is facing federal bribery charges. Wednesday, the council is expected to vote to suspend him. The LA controller is ready to suspend his pay. I believe that no one who's indicted for public corruption and who is suspended by the city council is therefore entitled to continue to collect pay from the city. Ridley Thomas and Marilyn Flynn, a former dean at USC School of Social Work, are accused in a bribery scheme. Prosecutors say Ridley Thomas funneled millions of dollars in city contracts to USC in exchange for Flynn hiring Ridley Thomas's son, Sebastian. Ridley Thomas and Flynn both deny the charges, but Ridley Thomas did announce he was stepping back from council duties, and now the council is expected to take action. I think that this is the appropriate move on behalf of the LA controller. Political analyst and Loyola law professor Jessica Levinson. If in fact the city council does vote to suspend Mark Ridley Thomas, which is kind of essentially what he has already offered up, then I think it's appropriate to say you don't get paid to do very little for the public. If the council votes to suspend Ridley Thomas, he would join former councilman Jose Wizar, who was suspended after being charged with bribery and racketeering, and Mitch Englander, who was in prison for lying to federal authorities while serving in office. It is shocking that this is now the third indictment of a council member or former council member of the city of Los Angeles in just two years. It is crucial that the city and the county clean house. In the fallout of all of this, Ridley Thomas's constituents in District 10, west of downtown, who will likely not have someone directly representing them. This is a district that will not really have full representation for at least, I think, quite a long period of time. The district is kind of in this limbo where they have somebody there who's filling the seat, but not actually doing anything in that seat. In the end, who's harmed by this? The members of that district who deserve representation. This will be Ridley Thomas's first court appearance. We asked the LA Council President Nuri Martinez to speak with us this evening, and her office declined. Serene, back to you. All right.